We wanted to check in with our political analyst about today's violence. She told us the symbol of democracy has been attacked. ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomon joins us live with her reaction tonight. Julie. Jameson, I spoke with our political analyst as well as a law professor, a local law professor, both women tonight telling me this behavior is unacceptable and should not be tolerated. Riders breach security and enter the U.S. Capitol. Chaos erupts on the day Congress is set to confirm that President-elect Joe Biden won the election. We spoke to a law professor at Stenson University. She recalls working at the Capitol for two senators when she got out of college. And so I take it sort of quite personally that there would be attacks on the U.S. Capitol building. The U.S. Capitol building is normally secured by the Capitol Police, but um, there are only so many of them. She says violence should not be tolerated, and under the law, violent protesters should be arrested and prosecuted. This is tragic and unacceptable. I think what's so strange about this is this will not change the outcome of the election. Political analyst Susan McManus says Congress has been unable to address problems essential to the lives of Americans. Their security, the ability to put food on the table, to pay the rent, to take care of the kids, all those things that are basic Congress has just been, it seems like, fiddling away and doing nothing at a time that there's a crisis in most people's lives. And so when they look at Washington, they've increasingly seen a government that they see as dysfunctional. And McManus adds that Congress really needs to come together, stop the negativity and the back and forth, and really address the concerns of the American people. We are live in Tampa tonight. Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.